The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted this chart up here. Well, it was this was a, um, a gold and copper and silver plaque that was sent out with Voyager One in 1977 to go into the cosmos to go past Jupiter, Uranus, and go out into the solar system to see if there's anybody out there to answer us. And this was done by Carl Sagan. It has the sounds of the earth. But the most important thing, if you'll notice there where that black arrow is that I marked off, you can see the ABCD pattern that was formed there. And rumor has it, now this is a rumor, that when these other planets finally got this particular piece of information, they decided they were so upset about them sharing this ABCD pattern with the rest of the cosmos, they wouldn't answer us. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but at least that's what I've heard. Folks, if you ever want to have a really shocking experience, imagine this, someone that you've known for 65 years, very where well, your closest and dearest friend has passed away, and uh, <laughs> the door opens and he's standing right there in front of you talking to you. I never met Jimmy Twenty when his younger brother, who was 70, they weren't twins because Jimmy was 78, but they were duplicates. Folks, that's the closest I've ever come to a heart attack. <laughs> he didn't sound like Jimmy, but my God, he looked like him. Tomorrow when the pictures come, I'll show the real resemblance and you'll see what it was. But boy, that was a big shock, let me tell you. Now, also, we're having a big move in these markets. I want to share with you a couple of things from what we were watching yesterday. Let's just get up here. First, we'll start out with this NASDAQ. There was the big ABCD in the NASDAQ, and of course, we broke down. We were down another 100 and some points last night. It bounced back a little bit. The next one that we're going to take a look at, this is the four minute of the NASDAQ. It's a repeat, sorry about that. I lost all data today, and then also I lost email. That's why you haven't got any visuals of what's going on. This was the gold market when we hit 2003. So far, that's held up. And uh, we still have, we're still trading at around 290, uh, 20, <clears throat> 1990 right now. Okay, now the next one I want to show you is the, uh, this is the long-term weekly gold chart that measured to 2203, uh, and the high was 2203.9. It's backed off a little bit, nothing to really be excited about. And then this was the Treasury bonds that went in at uh, 122 and change, and we're down a little bit from those levels. Those are the ones that we were watching. And then also here is the crude oil just continued to go down. We did break below that coveted 77 level, but we made an ABCD uh, at that point also. So what I'm going to do now is to share a few live charts of where we are. So we'll come up here, but we'll just look here very quickly on the uh, E-mini, start out here where we were today. Now, this is today's action. Remember, this is a 13-minute chart, folks. Now, we're into the June contract. Okay, there's you can see where we are in the June contract. You can see here's where we made our low. There's the ABCD pattern down here at 51.58. We've rallied 20-some handles. The ABCD on this measures at 51.87. Now, when you're doing these things, folks, when they switch over the contracts like we have over here, it's really difficult to find some of these ratios. So what you need to do, and I think this is what I try to do, is I'll go down to the cash market because this is what it's based on. So bear with me here one second. And uh, by the way, our guest tomorrow will be Peter Elides. On Wednesday, we're going to have um, Bob Miner, who's come out with a new book. And then on Friday, I believe we're going to have Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. Okay, now we're just going to do a, a three-minute chart here and see where we are with the cash S&P. Now, this is how I'm going to calculate what the 382 is. Now, if you like ABCDs, now this is the cash, okay? Let's just see what it did today from Friday. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg right here, and it misses it by uh, quite a bit. 
Oh, uh, this is it. Well, this is actually 10 points, so that's how much it missed it by. Our reasoning for this is to see where the 382 is on this move right here. And you'll see that comes in up another five points. So we could easily rally another five points. And that's simple to see because we have also right there another A, B, C, D pattern forming right here as we go through and look at this. See, that comes in just a tiny bit higher up here. At the, well, let's say it's trading there right now, 511.60. But I'm not sure my data is right, folks. Honest to goodness, I um, 6 o'clock yesterday afternoon, Google shut me out for some unknown reason, and uh, then right after that, my data went out, my data feed went out, and uh, it's been a little bit of an interesting day, as they say in the trade. Okay, now let's move on. That's the uh, that's the E-mini S&P. Now, this is the June contract. You see, this is the actual June contract being traded, okay? Now, here's the one. If you want to have your frustration index go to about 190,000%, here's the one that I uh, – we were talking about this wheat market because we've been very, very bullish wheat for quite some time. Let's get this uh, – uh, I think it was a 13-minute. Yeah. What I said last night, I said, is to buy this uh, retracement here, I said you're going to have to risk more than you want to. This was only $0.10 cents in here, so it was really not much of a loss. But look at this, folks. This just took off like a stripe of deer. The number that I had the buy in was at 518. We got to 523, so it missed it by five cents. It was right down in there. Now we've had a big run, big run to the upside. So we have to do to go to game plan two, which is to buy that first 382 retracement here in the wheat when we finally get it. Now, I bought some here, but I know some of the folks didn't. I said, you're going to have to risk a little bit more than you want to. I said, but you really want to be looking to buy some wheat. And I thought we were going to get there. Here's where we closed. And then in the, when they opened in the morning, we dropped another eight or nine cents. And then, boom, it should have gotten filled. And unfortunately, it didn't. So I'm not assuming that we're going to have a uh, – you know, a big, big move there uh, in that one. Okay, so let's just let's just keep a keep a close eye on this one. The reason why, folks, if you remember, uh, on this long term daily, we were down here. You see, there's the number we were trying to buy at. We missed it here by just a couple of cents, and now we've had a, a big move here. We've rallied 22 cents today. That's telling you. Well, let's just look at it closely here. Whew. Okay. Um. I'll tell you one thing, folks. I do not like these airline tick these airlines because they don't have bereavement uh, things anymore. So they really stick it to you when you're trying to. So I wouldn't do that. So I prefer to drive the 800 miles, <laughs> and it was okay. I loved it all the way. All right, here's where we're at. We have this big rally here, so we want to get long to wheat. That's all. I'll figure out a place to do it. You know, it's <laughs> had a lot of people bearish on the way down, but this is the bottom being formed. Same thing in the beans and the meal. And the oil, but the oil, let's get the soybean oil up here, and we'll see where we are. Folks, i tell you another thing that happened. About two minutes before the show, Al called me to remind me that the time has changed, and we don't change times over here. So it's still... It was still uh, 12 o'clock for me, and <laughs> I got uh, trapped into that thing today, too, so I was, that's why I didn't make the introduction. Here is the daily of the December soybean meal, and you'll see here that we just completed that ABCD pattern that we were talking about last Friday. Let's take a break here, and we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to go through some charts here because I think they're relatively important. This is the E-mini S&P on the weekly continuation chart. This high up here actually measures to 51.96, so we really hit pr pretty much spot on on that one. The next one we're going to take a look at here, uh, we're going to do these in the, in the way that I can see them clearly, okay, is we're going to take a look at the NASDAQ on the long-term weekly. Now, this goes back uh, three years from the high in 21. And you'll notice that the big ABCD 1.27 expansion measured exactly to the top. We've already showed you that on the other one, but we'll, re we'll show you that again also. If we take a look at the Russell, the Russell here from the high in 2021, when it made its high on October the 30th, made an exact 61% retracement at 21 uh, 40 on the uh, on Friday, uh, and you'll notice you measured to 2139.47, sold off about 35 40 points, no big deal. And then we've got a couple others here. This is the Dow Jones E mini, and that's that 135 pattern that we talked about before. And of course, we've gone down and we've taken out these lows today, but didn't go very far. But uh, this is a possibility that we're looking at something that could be. You know, very very interesting uh, on the downside. So let's not uh, let's not uh, be too complacent that maybe there is a top end. In fact, the fact that we've taken out some of these lows really means a little bit, but really not very much at all. So let's just move on here one second here, and we will get this uh, out of the way and uh, try to bring up another couple of charts that you folks might be interested in. Um, We'll hold on one second here. Or there's where we go here. The number on that S&P on the future. Hold on just a second. I think it's right here. No, just a minute. I've got to get these uh, get these charts straightened up here so that I can see them easily enough. Okay, here it is. This is the number we're watching for the ABCD here in the uh, cash. Um, excuse me, in the futures market that comes in at uh, uh, 5187. Okay, now this is just a you know 15 minute, 13 minute chart, but that's an ABCD. If you're going to buy this ABCD on the downside, okay, you got to sell this ABCD on the upside. Gartley said 
groups uh, find the first A, B, C, D against the trend and do that. So the trend has been down. This is the one against the trend. So you'd be selling at 51, 87, 10 points away. You're going to see if that's going uh, to be the case. Okay. Now let's move on and we want to cover a couple other things. We want to get back to uh, one of those other grain charts that we wanted to talk about. So bear with me. That's about the corn get the Christmas corn up here. I really firmly believe, folks, that we've made some type of a major bottom here uh, in these in these uh, grains, and I believe this is what we've been looking for. Here was the December corn, and if you'll remember, we bought this 382 retracement. If you'll remember, this is the one that, you know, was before the report. The report came in here, had higher bottoms going higher. I mean, I don't think it's going to run away to the upside, but your 382 off of the exact low, measured exactly to right there at 64 and it stayed there and now it's trading up uh, not much it's a trading up nine cents but it's doing it in which way a b c d a b c d let's just draw this last one in because we're probably getting close to probably maybe a correction that comes in oh we're right there right now 473 and where are we at now 473 I, what i don't understand is this price here is showing 472 but the actual high air, there it is, 473. So this is where the corn should start to back off. This is a half hour chart. So let's just look at it on the daily, and you'll see that this is the biggest rally we've had in quite some time. Okay. So this is what we're watching. So let's go back to the last high we made, which was right here before the big break. And we'll see if that's bringing us right to it. We've got to do it two ways. We've got to do it off this high and this high because you don't know which one is running the show. This could be it. There's your 382 off of that high right here, and you'll see the 382 off this one will be up about, ah, shucks, will be up about another uh, penny to go, and uh, we'll see where we are right there. Yeah, we're really close. Well, this is four cents, so keep a close eye on it right here. Uh, we're up quite a few days now. We, well, we had a little bit of a side, sideways move, but this is an ABC pattern, so it should, uh, should start to see a sell-off. It hasn't done anything yet with some of the other things we're looking at. But we're coming up here, we're almost at our number here in the E-mini S&P folks, where that comes in at 5187. So we wanna be uh, paying very, very close, uh, close attention to that one, all right? I hope that makes sense to you, but that's what the, the rules say you're supposed to do, and that's what you wanna be doing, okay? That's what we're watching. Okay, we're almost there for another five points and we will be there. Okay, now let's move on to one other one someone asked about, and that is Mr. Appel finally has got some friends coming in. You remember we had some nice support down there at that 170 level. Get the daily up here for Mr. Appel. And look at this. We've been up, we've gapped up today. Uh, well, we're actually backing off a little bit from, from what it tells me, but these, these charts here, there was your, there was your 1.618 expansion of this whole moon at 169. The rally today has been to 173 and a half, so not too much going on uh, to that level. The one that's been in the news, however, has been the um, micro strategies, which is uh, the one that runs all of the cryptocurrencies. That's MSTR. We'll get this up here, and then we'll look at it on a little bit. Oh, my goodness, it gapped up. And up. Hey, it's at 1618. My God, it's a sale. Oh, 1619. Oh, 1623. So you already would have been stopped out. Look what it's done here, folks. This is truly an amazing chart. This is, uh, wow, I don't know where it's going to go. This guy's made so much money. He owns all, well, he owns most of the Bitcoin out there. I mean, 800,000 of them or something. I don't know what the number is. It's big. But again, there's more bullish news and the way it went to the upside right here. And I don't know what's going on here. Just a second. Just a minute. Hey, BT, I'm on the show. The time has changed, so I'll talk to you when I get done, okay? Yeah, I thought this was you forgot my number. No, no, I... Funeral to go to, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> there you go. All right, let's move on here, and uh, this is where we are. Uh, I don't... You know, folks, I don't know enough about this bit Bitcoins to even to say anything, but anyway, that's <laughs> that's neither here nor there. But uh, th these, I don't know when these are going to top. Let's just look at this on a little ABCD pattern because we might be doing something here. I, I really know ABCD, and and that's uh, what I look at. So there's your AB leg. There's your CD leg. It com should come in here around 1696, if that's any good. I don't know. So just an ABCD gaps everywhere. 
All I know, folks, and I feel very strongly about this, I really think that we have made a major top in the stock market. Now, if we close really strong today, say that June S&P closes above, let's say, another 30, 40 points higher, this could have been a major bottom in here, and um, that would be something that I would be um, – uh, an alert to but remember we've been short the Dow Jones all this time because the Dow Jones is the one that was the weaker and uh, it did make a little bit lower low today but it didn't collapse which is good it's now up on the day which is a positive thing so let's just move on and not to worry about uh, about that hold on. we got to take a break here my goodness the break time's coming up let's just double check and see where we are we're into the break so stay tuned we'll be right back <clears throat> The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, uh, this is Trading View. 
Um, it's got all the stuff that you you can get a free uh, thing with it if you don't use uh, what do you call it live charts and stuff like that. I get 15 minute delay because I let the market show me. But it gives you just about anything you want to trade. It's a number one charting package. Millions of people use this, and it has all the tools. If you notice over here on the left, they have an A B. Just move over here. You'll see it has an A B C D pattern tool, so that you can literally just draw these things. In. Well. <laughs> if you know how to do them and then i think you click down here and then you go back up here they can see the a b c d patterns and it does all the retracements too so that's what i was looking at today there was a three drive pattern here you notice it came down stopped exactly at the 618 which means that it's still bullish and it's still going up that's basically what you're looking at if you wanted to look at tesla pull up the chart there's tesla what it's done here in a five minute chart today there's your high, have 183 all the way down to 178. If you want to go to a daily chart, all you have to do is come up here and change it to a daily. And where's the D's at? You go to a daily chart, and there's your daily chart. There's your 382 retracement. If you wanted to do your retracement numbers, they're all right in here. They're upside down, of course, as you can see here, because they should go all the way over like this. And I should show it on the right side, but. They're, they don't listen to anybody else. So there's your ABCD pattern here, and we're still down. We're up on the day, but we've been here four days in a row, so it's pretty good support. Whether it holds or not <clears throat> is, you know, anybody's guess. So that's what we're watching. Uh, just go to tradingview.com. It's got all the tools it's necessary. It's got more than it needs. But if you're looking for something that is inexpensive, and this is as inexpensive as it gets because it's free, the trouble is you got to put up with this stuff down here, which are the ads that you can get rid of right away. And that's really uh, what you're watching. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So let's get, stay, get off, leave the page here. And I want to get up here back to where we were. We want to check this. S&P because we just hit it. There we are. There's the old ABCD. We just made the number at 51.87. The high has been 51.88. So if that is an ABCD, we should have a correction coming. This should equal the last correction. And that would take you down here around 15 points to 51.70. So that's what we're watching. And we're watching ABCDs, folks. Nothing more Nothing less, nothing, you know, mysterious about it. The problem is, folks, it doesn't work all the time, and that's the real problem. I've been asked to take a look at the cattle market today and also hogs because we had some potential patterns coming due here. Let's get the live cattle up first. This is the April. We'll be switching over to the December cattle here pretty soon. And uh, we're not quite there yet. Doggone it. has just almost made it, but not quite. What we're looking for as you know, is this final A, B, C, D pattern forming right here. There's your A, B, C, D pattern right there. That would come in at around 90. We're trading three cents under it. We're, we're down on the day a little bit, but looking, looking at this on an intraday chart, you'll see what it, oh, look what it did. If you believe in 382, shut the front door and raise the rent. Look at this. There it is right there. Your 382 comes in right here. Went above it against you by 100 bucks, and now it's working in your favor of 200. So, always good to pay attention to those folks. Very, very interesting to see how they work. Okay, now let's move on to take a look at the piggies. Just one second here. Well, I tell you, folks, I just still can't tell you what a shock it was to see his brother look exactly like his brother Mark is only 70, and uh, oh my goodness, it was. Uh, I'll show you the pictures when they come in. <clears throat> okay, now here we go. We're almost ready here in the hogs. All right, we're completing an ABCD here. Let's just get these April hogs out of the way. There was your ABCD on the upside, ABCD, right to that. What are we doing? We're coming down now to an ABCD to the downside. Now let's get rid of all the little things that we don't need. And let's see what the retracement level was for today. And we'll mark it in. Well, my goodness, Billy Ray, look what it was, 618. And there you draw it in, and there it is right there, 618. So we should start rallying, and we already have. We've rallied um, rallied a whole penny, which is not too bad. Anyway, that was the hogs. Okay, now someone else asked about the soybean meal because we've been very bullish the meal also. So let me get that up here for us. We're going to be looking at the Christmas meal. That's new crop. Ah, it's made its number. This is good. Okay, hold on one second here. Let's get this up on an hourly chart because 
That's what we want to say. Here's what we were hoping to get into that report. You remember that infamous report that uh, everybody thought it was going to make new lows, including MWA? Yeah. Anyway, that's what's happened. All we've done now is complete this A, B, C, D to the upside. And this I, this is part of my data problem that I had this morning, folks. I haven't re refreshed it at all. Uh, this goes back to this was Sunday night. It made a slightly higher high here. As you can see, oh, let me try to refresh this. It probably won't work right now. But wow, that's really bad. I, I had so many problems. Anyway, it's not your fault. That's my fault. Anyway, that's the meal. Plenty of time to buy this stuff, folks. So just get get ready. We're going to be watching it real closely because the, these markets are ready to to really uh, go a lot higher. And I certainly want to get involved with those uh, without too much trouble. The one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to miss it like I did in the S&P when I said the darn thing was going to go from October the 27th to the uh, – to where it went to, uh, I just should have bought it at the market. I, you know, I did it. Did it. We made a little bit, but you know, to miss that much is just uh, really pretty much pretty tough. I will tell you this: so these last uh, past week has been pretty tough on me emotionally with all the stuff that I've had to go through, uh, cleaning out some of the things that uh, Jimmy and I did together. We did our black belt karate training in Arkansas for a year. That was in '84. It was at 85, yeah, 84, 85, Jay Cross and I, and we did all that stuff, and they had still had the swords and all the, the all the gear that we wore, and they get that to his nephew and stuff like that. So anyway, let's move on here, and uh, let's see, I got one other question, and that, oh, hold on one second, another, another question here about, uh, not Apple, where is that darn thing at? ADM, that's one that's the big in the commodity business, and it's been getting massacred. Here's where we are. This is Archer Daniels Midland, folks. Now, you'll notice this is a daily chart, and we've been down here at the 1.618 level now at 52 to 55 for a long time. So this is where the earnings came out and said it was really bad. There was your 61% retracement. There was your 382. And this market is way – this stock is way oversold. You can see the 1.618 expansion at 52. The low on it was 51. So that was a situation. If you're in that one, you just put your stop at 52. You're up three dollars and wait and wait and see if it'll go up. I don't trade stocks, but I do look at them for a technical basis, and that's the you know the bottom line of uh, you know what I'm paying attention to. So I, I hope that helps you uh, a little bit down the way. Let's just check and see where we are. We got a break coming up. Save your at last. We'll be right back. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to go over and take a look at the crude oil complex. Uh, we're hoping to have Mike Moore uh, on uh, later in this week. Uh, he's been on vacation, so as soon as he gets back, we're going to have him on. We're going to switch over to a 13-minute chart so you can see the last few days. If you'll notice a strange pattern that appears here like a lightning bolt, we'll just draw this in. And uh, you see that it measures down here to 77.39. It goes about 50 points lower. Okay. Now, this was the key one right here last night because if you watch, this was, excuse me, Friday, two, two, let me, just walk you through what I was looking at. This was the one Friday that we were looking at. I think we were on the air at that time, right at the 382. That measures to the ABCD to the downside. And uh, that measures to 7709. The low was 7689. But here's the key. Sunday night, Monday morning, real early this morning. Let's just take a look. You're going to see it set there right at the old number itself. There it is right there. And from there, it drops $1,500. And how does it do it, folks? A, B, C, D. Now, this is one of the largest markets in the world. Now, maybe you're having trouble with the trading system that you're using, but pay attention to this one. It doesn't always work, but by golly, when it does, it gives you some really good things. Now, here's what I did as I was doing this. I re evaluated the 382 because remember we've got a new 382 from a new high back here now what do you bet that might be something important and there it was it takes out the highs of early morning monday at six in the morning that was up here at 78.30 it's now 500 dollars into the good so i hope these little things uh little thing i keep i keep it simple folks i really do i i get some complaints here from people back and forth here about what I do, but it, it's as simple as I can get, and uh, I, I don't know any other way to do it. And uh, I I respect everybody that does all this, uh, and I and I, I respect astrology. I just don't understand enough about it to, to to use it in my trading. I look at the full moons and new moons, but that's secondary. I look at the pattern. That's all I I really understand. That that's what's got me to the promised land, and it's been a prom it's been a profitable promised land. That's all I can say. All right, now that's the crude oil. Now, what we should be doing is seeing the weakness that we're looking at some of these other components of the of the uh, of, of the crushed crude oil. So this is gasoline. This is the uh, we'll just put the daily up here. This is the daily. Wow, this had a reversal today. That's good. I thought it was going to get down to this level. We barely took out the previous day's low. Let's get this up here in a smaller time frame. This is probably, oh, there's the same type of thing. Now, remember we made new lows in the, uh, wow, this is really a big move. Look at this ABCD pattern right here. There it is, ABCD. And, boy, we've had a big run here. 
completing this big ABCD. Let's just see where the 382 would be. It's already exceeded that, so that's a positive sign. Let's just get up here and look at the gasoline contract. There's your high. You made a new low, so it should have stopped at the 382, but it went through it like melted butter. This was the key, folks. Remember, when it's coming up this fast, remember if this is a – you like the key to the ABCD, if there is such a thing – it's that CD leg right there. You see how the CD leg measures right to this level right here? You see these big cascading? Boy, those are tough to stand in front of. They really are. Do I do it? Yeah, I do do it. But by golly, it, it's, it shaves a few years off your life. So that's, uh, that's why this had a big move. Now let's switch over to the heating oil over here. And... Uh, <laughs> Boy, folks, I don't know if you had a friend as long as I have. Boy, we were so <laughs> he's on on Friday. I well, it doesn't make any difference. He was trading alongside of me middle of the night. I couldn't sleep, and I, <laughs> I was so shook up. I, you know, here, let's just move on here just a second here. Ho was heating oil. There it is, right there. There's the heating oil. Let's get this up on a. Uh, let's do an hourly just so we can see where we are. See if it's having a rally. Oh, it's not even moving at all. Look at heating oil, folks. Of course, the season's over now for heating oil. You'll notice we did make a lower low down in this area right here. Uh, we didn't uh, – I think we missed this ABCD here because it missed it by a heartbeat. Yes, I'm sure it did. Yeah, you see it missed it by quite a bit. It even missed this one right here. It was so bearish that it missed that one too. Oh, no, it made this one. It did make that ABCD pattern right here. And there's where we are right now. We did make a lower low, but we did not take that lower low out. But if I were to look at it just to see what the 382 would be off of this, you'll see we're almost uh, we're almost there for heating oil. But frankly, it's not nearly as exciting as looking at the crude oil because this is uh, crude oil is where they crack it into heating oil and into gasoline. It's the problem is look at this thing, how much it's down, and then look at crude oil. Get this out of the way, and how much it's up. Let's just get that hourly chart on crude. Look where we are in crude oil. We're we're way, way over here. So this thing hasn't, uh, you know, hasn't really. Well, this is what we're looking at. You can see where crude oil is. That's where heating oil is way down here. You see, that's the that's the whole key. So this is still the one that's running the show. But right now we are in a downtrend. And we just made that 382. Let's just go through it again. And I wasn't looking at it because I thought we were coming on in 15 minutes, not an hour ago. But I'll be ready tomorrow. And we went right up to it there at 31. And that's where we're standing there right now. Let's see. Well, look at this, boys and girls. If nothing else, look what that gave you for a little Christmas present today. You got a little bit of money coming in on on this, so don't go blaming me. This is one of the times that it works. So if you sold it here at 88, you're up 13 points. And since I don't want anybody to lose any money, let's just cover it right here and uh, make uh, 86 to 60, make uh, 1,200 bucks. Uh, let's try that again, 600 bucks, 1,200 if you did two contracts, and then see what it goes from there. But there was a perfect example of an ABC, just like the one on the way down right here. Boom. Boom, boom, and that's it. Now, this should tell us that we're going to get down to here. That's And if we start getting below this, then that's telling us that this little pattern here was nothing more than a little tiny bit of a rally into a bear market. Above this, we're probably going to rally some more, maybe up even in the 51, 5200. Now, remember, we switched over to June now. We're trading June bonds, June S&P, June Russell, June NASDAQ. All those are in the Junes. We're going to be switching over to the December cattle, December hogs. We're already into May, July soybeans, and also November. And so we got those switched over, and we, we should be handling it uh, pretty good safe. So you made a, made a couple of bucks on this. I'm happy for you. Uh, make sure you send some to the Church of What's Happening Now, baby, with Reverend Tyrone Passat Johnson, and he will be happy to distribute the funds to the needy. That's at the fifth race at Santa Anita that comes in on Saturday. Folks, I'm a little bit um, tired, but I'll have my A game back tomorrow. Um, <laughs> And okay, let's move on here. Something. Oh, let's go to the gold market. Doggone it. Let's get let's get this up here to the gold market here. Thirteen minute. All right. Here's the gold market where we were on Friday. We went up. We remember this on the weekly, folks. I posted this in the newsletter. There was your number right here. 
202, the high was 203.30, okay? So it was uh, within $1 of the high. We've done nothing. Back off just a tiny bit. You'll see here, high, we rallied back to the 78% level, right on the money. Oh, 61, sorry, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I brought up the NASDAQ here on an hourly chart, and I don't trade the NASDAQ very often. I look at it on the daily, of course, but I don't trade it hardly ever. The reason why is it's herky-jerky because you're only looking at about 15 of the 100 stocks because they're the one that's big. You notice we've had no 382 retracement here since Friday. Uh, well, we did have one on Friday. Let me just show you that. It was right here. This is a two-hour rally. Let's go down to a 13-minute. You'll be able to see it easily. Probably did it in our favorite format. There it is. There's your XAB, what, 382 measures. I believe we were on the air when this was happening. Yep, I think so. There's where we were, went exactly to the tick. So it must mean something. So far today, we've done nothing. I mean, uh, we made a new low uh, from Friday. You can see that, and then it's really done very little. Okay, so that's what we're paying uh, very, very close attention to. Uh, so that's it. If you uh, made some money in the S&P, I'm very happy for you. And if you didn't, I'm still happy for you. But let's do this and try to do something nice for your neighbors. 
We live in a very fleeting time these days, folks. Uh, some days you're here, and the next day you're not. And boy, that can be a big, big deal, <laughs> especially if you're in the not category. So we're going to see you tomorrow. And our guest is going to be Peter Lydes. He always has some great stuff. Wednesday, we're going to have uh, Bob Mo uh, Miner on. with his. He's going to be talking to us about his new book. So I want you to live every day. Uh, in an attitude of gratitude, uh, and may God bless. And I've got 55 seconds to go, and I have to do one other chart. I didn't think I was going to have time for it. Let's get it up here. I think I can get it right here. Hello, operator. The Russell. There's where the Russell. They asked me about the Russell. And Russell is doing actually pretty good today, folks, considering what happened here. Look at on Friday. Uh, oh, this is the rollover. Forget it. I, that's, I haven't got enough time to do it. Now, there's the problem. See, it's the rollover, so I've got to redo this. I will cover that in the video uh, that I send out tonight. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.